Hey guys, it's Elle and welcome back to day two of four looks, one palette, summer edition. Today we're going to be doing a really beautiful, beautiful, a really beautiful kind of more on the pinker side. It's just going to be a very fresh, effortless look. And so if you want to know more about that, hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and let's do it. All right. So if you are brand new, we are using the It Cosmetics naturally pretty palette and this is the matte edition volume one and i do obviously have foundation on i did put foundation over my eyes just to kind of put just to kind of put a nice base down because i don't always use an eyeshadow primer so we are going to do it a little differently today so we're going to make a little cream shadow out of these you can take your favorite cream primer i love to do this with the tatcha the silk canvas primer and it's one of my favorite primers to use for something like this so I'm just taking a little bit of the primer on the back of my hand and then I'm going to go into the um, one called soulful and I'm going to scrape it a little bit and add that to the primer and this is such a really great way to get more use out of your shadows and to make them a little bit more pigmented as well. And it's just fun. You know what I mean? It's just fun to use your, your products in a different way. You can also do this with, I'm just mixing while I'm talking to you guys. I'm just having everything here together and I'm just mixing it up on the back of a brush. But um, you can do this, I'm sure if you guys saw my Tatcha primer video, you saw me do this. You can do this with primer, you can do this with loose pigment shadows, um, with really any, any kind of powdered product, you can make your own cream product. So that is what we're doing today, just to change it up. Again, like we said, these are some more advanced techniques, and I love cream shadows. If you've been following me long enough, you know I'm obsessed. So here is the shadow all mixed together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it on a packing brush. So I'm gonna take on one of my favorites, it's the Sigma E55 brush. And I'm going to put this all over, oops, got a little creasing there, all over the bottom section of the lid. And this primer is fantastic for it because it gives it a little bit of slip. And this is, look how pretty that base is. I Look how pretty it is. I love this color. And I'm just going to pack this on. Don't have to worry about edges quite yet. Let's just get the product on. You're going to go from the inside tear duct all the way to the outside. Then take a, any kind of brush, fluffy brush, whatever, and just run it over your crease so you can blend the edges and bring it on top of that brow bone a little bit more and kick this out. Again, reusing the techniques that we learned yesterday. If you have not seen that video, I will link it in the little white box above. But look at that. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the other eye really quickly. so quick I love it okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a big fluffy brush this one is by Sigma it's the e40 brush we're gonna go into love which is this beautiful light pink shadow and what we're gonna do is we're gonna just diffuse this line out so we're just doing some more blending it doesn't skip so this primer using it the way we just did making it into a cream does not skip when you put another eyeshadow over it I love that so again just kind of diffusing making sure there's no harsh lines all right perfect so now we're gonna go into all night or all heart sorry all heart which is a purpley mauvey kind of color and we're actually going to go um, in this outer V and along the crease. Somebody asked me in the comments section, that's why I don't love to pre-film this type of stuff because I know you guys have questions and I like to really answer them. Somebody asked me what, um, how do you tell if some, like a shadow is 
cool toned because we were talking about cool toned shadows yesterday and how you can figure that out is really honestly by what you if you look at it and it looks like it has more of a gray base to it so if you can see this this color right here has a way more of a gray base than something like this this is more of a warm color so colors can be neutral they can be you know warm they can be cool toned they can be a lot of things but that's how you can tell if a shadow is cool toned is if it has more gray in it than warmth oh i love this eye look it's like one of my favorite color combinations this kind of pinky purpley mobby number look at mm, love it okay so then we're also going to use the transforming pearl and somebody else asked me what the transforming pearl is for obviously it is for highlighting just like we did yesterday and just like we're going to do now on a small pencil brush underneath the brow because this is going to give us a really nice lifted eye look and then it also can be used over the shadows in the palette which we are going to be doing a little bit later on in this series where it actually can kind of transform all of these colors into a little bit softer versions of themselves and it kind of gives a little iridescent quality to them. So good questions, guys. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to put mascara on, concealer, kind of finish everything up, and then we're going to do the under waterline. Don't get rid of this color just yet. I'll be right back. All right, so one eye is complete. Take your pencil brush, use your leftover cream eyeshadow, or just use a small brush, something very small and detailed. And this is my favorite part of this look, is to bring your chin down, look up, and bring this cream product down and kind of give this a little bit of a shadow. Don't come all the way into the inner tear duct, stop right before you get there this will help this product not move further and then take java and just ever so slightly on the outer corner give this a little definition just ever so slightly use your finger blend it away and you see how it just brings a little bit more attention to the outside of the eye Again, giving it an optical illusion that the eye is a little bit more wide set and pulled up. And then apply your mascara. Today I'm using the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. All right, so to finish it off, I am just going to hit this with a little bit of blush uh, because now that everything's on, I feel like I need a little bit more. I first used the Kevin Aquan Grapevine Blush and now I'm going in with the bare minerals super really really let natural it's called pretty in pink i'm just gonna pop this on the apples of my cheeks and then i have been obsessed with these new lipsticks from givenchy they just sent me these um, this one is called nude cashmere and they're a very interesting lipstick they have like this puffy top to them but they almost look like a stain they're so interesting you twist it up, you get a little bit like that. And I wanted something a little bit more summery, a little bit more peachy for this lip. Um, I love the contrast between the eye and the lip. It's a little more summery and fun. It feels so good on the lips. It's just such an interesting texture. I've been really loving these. So this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for being here again. I hope you guys are totally into this series as much as I am because I'm loving it. And um, I will see you guys in the next one. Lots of love for me to you. Bye, you guys.